guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be another haul because I have no self-control and I clearly enjoy having no money. So yeah, so this is the product of a couple of online orders from Cult Beauty, Beauty Bay, House of Fraser and Anastasia Beverly Hills. So I'll just get started with House of Fraser. So the first thing I bought from House Fraser that actually kickstarted this order is the Origins Ginseng Refreshing Eye Cream. So this is still in the box because I haven't finished my other one yet. My other one's nearly finished and House Fraser were doing an offer and it was if you buy one of their selected favourite products and spend £50 then you get a tenner off. So you only have to buy one product from this list of favourites and I did but it's not this product, it's one of the other ones I'm going to show you. So this is what I wanted to buy, but I thought, well, I might as well spend £50 to get the same off. You know, logic, this is the kind of thing that reels me in and makes me spend all my hard-earned money on makeup. So I really do enjoy it. I love using this eye cream. I think it's really great. It's the first proper eye cream I've ever used. I started using, um, I can't even remember what kind it was, because I was getting like really dry skin underneath my eyes, but... Then I switched to this one because I know it's been raised about for years and years and years. It's a cult classic. So I definitely had to try it and I really love it. So it just looks like that. It's like a cute little orange pot. And it's like the eye cream. Well, I'll just take this off. The eye cream is like pink. And it smells really good too. So a little bit goes a really long way. And I just don't think I could ever live without this now. It's amazing. I think everyone needs to use an eye cream. And this is a great one. So we'll just put this back in the box. And the next thing I bought from House of Fraser, which was one of their favourites, which I have, I have had my eye on this for a good while now, um, was the Lancome Paris Juicy Shaker. So this is what the box looks like. I'm going to take it out. And I have already used this one. So it just looks like that. It looks like a little, a little cocktail shaker. And it's basically got the pigment on the bottom and an oil on the top. And you just shake it up and it mixes it together and then you just dab it on your lips like this so you just pop it I'm not going to put it on because I've got a matte lip, liquid lipstick on but you just dab it on and it's like a beautiful beautiful lip gloss um, it is basically they say it's like this generation's version of the Lancome Juicy Tubes which were all the age back in the day and it's a wee lip gloss and like a wee squeezy tube this is like the adult grown up version so, and this is a beautiful colour. When I went to order it on How to Fraser, there was only about four colours left and this is the nicest one that I liked. I've got my eye on Freedom of Peach, but it's still sold out at the moment in How to Fraser. So, I might need to keep my eye on that. It's just a gorgeous wash of colour. It's not too pigmented, then it's still got a little bit of colour about it. So, it's a really good gloss and the, my favourite thing about it is it's not sticky at all. When you have it on your lips and you're outside and the wind blows your hair into your mouth like like it does, there's nothing happens. Like you don't get lipstick lip gloss all over your face, which is the thing I hate most. Like I actually hate leaving the house. I've got lipstick on because I end up like it being all over my face and like lip gloss is even worse. Lip gloss it leaves your hair feeling sticky and disgusting. Because this it was actually the girl in House of Fraser. I never bought this in House Freezer, I bought it online and got it delivered. But when I went into House Freezer, before these had launched, she I tried one on and the girl said you can do the hair test, like put your put your hair over your mouth and it, it won't get stuck, which I just love. I think that's amazing that they've managed to do that. So just I'll just swatch it for you. So this is the shade, I don't think I mentioned it. This is the shade Wonder Melon. And they all smell like fruit. Like what their, their name is, that's what it smells like. So this smells like melon. It's amazing, so it just looks like that. It's like a lovely, like a pinky. And it looks a lot pink on my hand. But see, once it's on your lips, it just looks like a gloss. Like it adds a tiny bit of colour. But not too much, so it's not too overpowering or anything. And yeah, so I'm really liking that at the moment. And I'm really, really glad that I had to pick this up. Because, you know, I had to. So the next thing I bought from the House Fraser was the... Urban Decay After Go 8 Hour Powder Highlighter in the shade Sin. So I saw this mentioned. Um, who mentioned this? I think it might have been 
Tati Gamak you know, as I've mentioned her before. Um and I always trust her judgment on pocket product recommendations and this just seems like a good highlighter. So it just looks like that. So it's like a lovely like champagne gold and it's so super pigmented. It just looks like that. It's like a gorgeous reflection, it's amazing. I've actually got one today. That's what it looks like on. I have shown it in quite a few soils now, I think. Maybe two, maybe three tutorials. Um but yeah, that's my that is my current obsession at the moment and I'm really really glad I picked that up. I think see for this haul, I don't think I would do a haul update like I did for my bits and super drug haul because I have already used the majority of the products. Because I was waiting for a set for my Anastasia Beverly Hills order to come in, and it's just arrived about 15 minutes ago. So I was waiting for that to come in to film this haul, but obviously I couldn't wait to try. I couldn't wait. I'm really sorry, but I couldn't wait. So I had to try everything on my face just to see what I thought. Um, so I don't think I'll do a haul update on this one, unfortunately. But I will give you what I feel just now, and if I really do like any of the products that I haven't quite tried yet, I will include them in my, my April favourites. So, the last thing I bought from House of Razor is the Urban Decay 24-7 Waterline Eye Pencil. So these are just new, it's a new product. Um, this was also mentioned by Tati. So this is in the shade Walk of Shame, which if you've watched a few of my tutorials, you'll know that that is the eyeshadow colour that I use to set my eye primer. So I was really looking forward to getting this because I do love this colour. So it's just, it's just a nude pencil. So it just looks like that. It's on the hand. It's like that. It's just a good skin colour. Um, and it is amazing for the waterline, it's really long lasting and really creamy so it doesn't feel like you're getting poked in the eye, which, who wants that? Um, but yeah, no, I'm really enjoying that, I've worn this just about every day since I bought it, I don't actually have it on today, but um, yeah, I really recommend that. And then the next order that I placed was from Beauty Bay. So what I got from Beauty Bay, I got a few different things, a couple of bits from Makeup Geek because you can't place an order on Beauty Bay without getting something Makeup Geek. It's like a law, you have to get something Makeup Geek. So I got two contour pans. Um, if you've seen my previous tutorials you know I use Breakup from Makeup Geek as my contour shade. So I bought another one of those because they're finally back in stock on Makeup Geek and I wanted to stock up. Because um, they've been sold out for a long time, they only had the two darkest shades which Looking at me, the two darkest shades would be very, very dark, so I couldn't, I couldn't get away with anything like that. I also picked up the shade Love Triangle, which is warm porcelain. So let's just compare them. Like that, you can see that Love Triangle is a lot warmer than Breakup. I wanted to pick this up because I find it really difficult to find bronzer shades that suit my skin tone. Um, most bronzers are very orange or quite terracotta and I wanted something light enough that um, I could use it to blend together my contour which is what I've been doing the last week or so. I've been putting my contour on like usual cool um, using breakup and then I've been using love triangle to just like buff out the edges on top and then it looks a lot more natural and pulled together um, rather than just a very harsh line so I really am liking this one. Um, and I would really recommend the Makeup Geek Contour Powders to anyone like on a budget because they're only, I think it's seven ninety five. I think that's how it works out on Beauty Bay. So really, really affordable. And all you need is a Z palette to put them in. And it's just, like they're so good. They're so creamy and blendable and really pigmented. So a little bit goes a really, really long way. So you, ha you do have to be careful that you don't go too heavy handed. Because it's always easier to add more in than take it away so if you go a bit too heavy handed it could be quite difficult to get rid of that. Um, so yeah. The other bit I bought from Makeup Geek is one of their new full spectrum eyeliner pencils. It just looks like that. These are a new launch. Um, 
relatively recent. So this is the shade Obsidian, if I can get the box open. So it just looks like that. Just an eyeliner. It's the same as the Urban Decay one. It's like the black and I quite prefer that to like the brown wood. So I'll just put one next to the Urban Decay one. So it just looks like that. So it's really dark black, like that was that was me using my left hand because I want to put my lips, the lipstick swatches on this one. So this is my, using my left hand, so very light pressure and it's so dark, so creamy. Um, so I used it for the first time yesterday, I put it on top of my lash line and I used a brush to smudge it out and it really, really was good. Like it doesn't set too quickly, which is great and it's also good in the waterline as well. I've got two more things I bought from Beauty Bay and they're both liquid lipsticks which the rest of the products in this haul are liquid lipsticks like I've never had a liquid lipstick before and these are so this is like my new obsession I had to I had to get it a go like I don't been reading about them for months so I had to I had to try it out and see what all the fuss is about and I really do I get what the fuss is about so I've got two Gerard Cosmetics Longwear Hydra Matte Liquid Lipsticks I've got two of them so I've got the shade Aphrodite, so it just looks like that, and I'll put a swatch on. So this is kind of, it didn't look as or, like orangey brown on the website. So it just looks like that. I tried it on my lips yesterday. And I don't really, I'm not really sure if the colour suits me. Like, I need to play about with my other makeup to see if I can get away to make it work. Um, but no, they're really good liquid lipsticks. They don't feel too uncomfortable. Um, and I, I'm really liking them at the moment. And these are really affordable as well. I also got the shade Serenity. So that's a nice pink. It's kind of a my lips but better shade, I tried this on yesterday as well. So this next to Aphrodite. I prefer Serenity. Like, I think. But I don't really know how long waiting they are yet. Um, I've not had them on a full day. I had a lip lipstick on all day yesterday at work. And then I came home and I wanted to try these ones on. So I only had them on for about half an hour. And they seemed to hold up alright. But I've not obviously tried them out for a longer period of time. But I'll let you know once that happens. Um, the formula on those ones seems to be quite liquidy. Like you can hear it kind of squip when you take the, the doe foot absolutely out of the out of the tube. And it's a bit more liquidy than some of the other liquid lipsticks that I purchased in this haul. Um, but yeah, I'll keep the updated on what I think of those ones. So now it's on to Cult Beauty and I finally managed to pick up two of the Jouer Longwear Lip Creams. Just look like that. I've been wanting to pick these up for ages and ages but as soon as they went on sale on Beauty Bay they like completely sold out so I managed to pick up two of the colours that I wanted, two of the colours, the other colours that I wanted are still out of stock so I need to try my hardest to pick up these ones but I have worn both of these I actually have one of them on just now um, I'm wearing the colours are very similar actually I didn't think they were as similar as they are um, so this one is Dolce De Leche that I'm wearing just now um, it's a pink but it's a bit of a darker mauvey pink But the best thing about, like, they're very creamy and not as liquidy as the Gerard Cosmetics ones. But the best thing about these is it smells like cake. Like, it smells like, it smells like a cake. It smells like Costco cake, the icing. That's what it smells like. I can't stop smelling it. It's so good. Right, so I'm going to swatch it on my hand for you. So these ones are, like, so super comfortable. I had it on all day yesterday, I'd say a good 
six, seven, maybe eight hours. Um, and it held up really great, so I'm really happy with that. And then the other shade I got was Melon, which is more of a, more pinkier than Dolce de Leche. I had, this is the one I wore yesterday. So I'll just swatch that next to Dolce de Leche. So that's what that looks like. So this one's Dolce de Leche and this one's Melon. So you can see there's not much difference, but Dolce de Leche is a tiny bit more mauve -y than Melon. Melon's more of a brighter pink. So then that's, that's all I bought from Cult Beauty. I, I was actually really good to manage to refrain from spending any more of my money. But um, then I made an order, my first ever order from Anastasia Beverly Hills. Before, when I've ordered stuff from the brand, I've bought it from Beauty Bay or Cult Beauty, where you can get it shipped really cheaply in the UK. Um, but I wanted some of their new liquid lipsticks for this for spring and they're not available on Cult Beauty or Beauty Bay at the moment. None of the lipsticks are. No liquid lipsticks are. So I decided to finally take the plunge and get them shipped over from the, from the US. Um, so they've just arrived this morning. I placed the order on either Thursday or Friday. It wasn't it wasn't too long ago. Um, and they were $20 each and then I think it was about $18 shipping. So I think it worked out being about £20 per liquid lipstick. And then when they got delivered, I had to pay um, about £18 in custom tax. So, so yeah, that worked out about £30 per liquid lipstick. I know that seems quite a lot of money. Like, I don't really want to think about too much on how much I spent on these. But I really did want them and I really hope I'm happy with the ones I've got. So the first shade I picked was Crush. So the packaging just looks like this. The Anastasia Beverly Hills packaging is always amazing. Which I've not tried these ones yet. Because um, as I said they've just arrived. So this is a like a pink. I've not swatched them at all yet. So I'll just put it on my hand. Even though it looks, it looks really light in the packaging, like it looks about the same, it looks kind of very, very similar to the Jouy ones. It's the same kind of colour family. Um, it's actually a lot darker. It's more like um, the Gerard Cosmetics liquid lipstick in Serenity. Just so this one is Anastasia Beverly Hills and Crush and then that oh on my on my hand in person it looks like it's more like Serenity but then when you hold I hold it up to the camera it looks more like Dolce de Leche. I think it's kinda of mix of in between. It's a bit darker than Dolce de Leche. See that there? But it feels, it doesn't feel as creamy as the Jouy ones. It feels a bit more liquidy, but not as liquidy as Gerard Cosmetics ones. So I think these are kind of good ones to try out and see what I feel, how I feel about them all. And then the set, the next colour I bought was Dolce. So that's more corally. Just looks like that. I'll swatch it in the back of my hand as well. Yeah, this one seems to be more of a coral peach. But it's still quite nude. I'm really happy with all the colours I bought. The only one I'm unsure of is Aphrodite from Gerard Cosmetics because I think that might be a bit of a weird colour for me. But maybe it'll be better in the summer and maybe with different kind of makeup on because I only tried it on for a little bit yesterday and I didn't really have much makeup on. So maybe if I'm a bit more bronzed then it will work a bit better. So that is everything I have to show you in this haul. I really hope you enjoyed it. Um, I really hope you enjoy these kind of videos where I'm showing you how I'm spending all my hard-earned money. Um, and yeah, 
I'll keep you updated on the liquid that I am enjoying. If there's none, if I don't, if there's some that I feel like I don't enjoy, then I will do a, a video talking about them. Um, so yeah, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to be notified of any future videos. So I really hope you enjoy this video and please stay tuned for my next one. Bye.